All right, so you know, um, you guys know I love uh, solar lights. I uh, actually got sent these uh, 30 LED solar landscape lights. And, you know, on the picture, it seems like they're pretty, you know, pretty small. You get two in the box. And it comes with the stake and the arm and all that stuff and the panel on top. And you have the LED light. Well, when I got them out of the box, I was impressed by the size. This is the size of one of them. This is about the size of my hand. So that's how tall, that's how big the panel is. I have pretty decent sized hands. And this is what the light looks like. Okay. So when I first turned them on, I was like, okay, uh, they're yellow. But let me show you something that's kind of cool. Okay. So I'm in the man cave. I close the curtains it's not super dark in here like I can move around without uh, turning the lights on or anything like that but it's dark enough for you guys to see so I'm aiming this at the wall and I'm going to turn this light on and show you because there's a button on the side I'll show you later that you can press to turn on this is uh, what I saw originally when I first did this uh, actually no nope I saw that so this is a gray wall and this light that's shining is yellow. Okay, so it's like a yellow light. That's low. That's yellow and it's high. You can see how strong the beam is. Then it turns off if you click it again. This is white. And all of my LED lights are white. So I'm glad that there's actually four settings that you have because this is bright white, like super bright. Okay, I'm back outside. Now, tonight I'm going to test this out here to see just how far of a range it gives. To show you the button I'm, I was talking about, um, right here is what you're going to press. So it's easy uh, to get to. Here's the arm that actually extends down. There's like a little side button here that you can turn. And so you can adjust and move this and then the buttons right here so you can easily get to this and turn it on turn it off you can also pivot this solar panel as well there's a little screw dial there that you can actually turn to adjust it um, so tonight I'm gonna test this guy out and also do a water test because on the box it claims that it is water I don't know if you can see that yeah waterproof heat resistant as well as uh, frost resistant which is perfect because it rains a lot here in the uh, Tacoma Seattle area heat this time of year in June it gets pretty hot and then frost probably I would say about three weeks ago we were still getting frost so uh, we'll test it tonight see how well it holds up in rain I'm gonna actually uh, turn the water hose on uh, and see what it actually does. So I'm gonna blast it pretty good and we'll get to see how well this actually works. But yeah, overall pretty cool. Let's see if I can turn this dial with my hand. I did this earlier. I'm using one hand here. Let's see if I can. Nope. I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand. Hold on. Okay, now I got it. So let me get the stake out of here. And the stakes are pretty decent. Uh, it gives you a card, by the way. So let me talk about this. So it talks about direct sunlight, backlight, uh, without obstructions, with obstructions, best weather, worst weather, uh, under strong light, uh, and mutual exposure. So you don't want under strong light or mutual exposure, obviously. Uh, you want the best weather. Um, and even whenever it's the worst weather, it still works. Without obstructions, obviously, is best. And, of course, direct sunlight. Backlight with obstructions, you're going to have issues. I think I have two areas I'm going to place this so that it um, gets the best sunlight and it is not actually with obstructions. This stake here is pretty, pretty big. Gives you an idea. So if the light is that big or the panel gives you an idea, it goes down pretty deep. So you don't have to worry about the wind taking this thing off. So... Well, let me actually attach this. Hold on. Okay, so I've attached this. It gives you an idea. It goes down pretty deep. And then the panel here could also adjust. You just turn the knob 
Uh, so that's really, really cool. Okay, to give you an idea, we're going to stick this in the ground. It even has some, if you don't want to mount it or stick it in the ground, you can mount it on the side of a structure because there's little holes on both sides. There's two holes. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get this in the ground. This ground is very hard because, like I said, it's been pretty hot here. I don't know if I can. Ugh. Ugh. That's about as good as it's going to go for now, but for demo purposes, this is fine. Um, so, let's turn this, and as you can see, the panel drops. And, yeah, you can, again, you can adjust this on the side here. Oh, let me fix it, hold on. And so, you can aim the light whichever direction you want. So, it's really pretty awesome so and then of course you tighten it and you're good to go so yeah we'll we'll test this later on and see how well it holds up to water I could do it now but that's not gonna make any sense but tonight right here I'm gonna test this panel out and see how well it actually holds up and we're gonna do a, uh, a light test I'm gonna have it shining towards uh, the other direction, so I'm going to actually have it uh, facing this direction. And that's towards the kids' trampoline. So I'm going to show you how far the trampoline is. It's way out there. So we're talking probably uh, 35 feet from here, easily. About 35 feet. So we're going to see tonight how well that actually shines out. All right, so it's a little bit darker. I mean, it's not super dark, uh, obviously. I mean, if you look up, I mean, right now is, what is it, 946. And this is what the sky looks like in Seattle, Tacoma at 946. Uh, it's crazy. But it's still somewhat dark. There's the trampoline there. There's a light on there because it's motion censored. But I want to try to get this little light right here on. Remember, it has a side button. Now, this has been sitting in the sun all day. It's been so scorching hot today. Um, I would say I got this around noon. And the sun probably, I'm talking about peak sun, probably went down around 7 o'clock. Mosquitoes are out here. So, you know, that gives you a good idea, right? So, not like eight, nine hours, probably a good seven hours, probably, of good sun. I had it sitting up on the, uh, the plant bed, and so now I'm going to turn it on. Remember, it's got four modes, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is the, the try not to get bit, this is the white light. So, right now, stand, stand back a little bit, Noel. Let's see. So... The well's there and it's hitting her. That's the, and you can see it hitting the, the table. Let's see. That's a bigger beam. And yeah, it shines back pretty far. It shines back pretty far. So yeah, now what I'm going to do now is test and see what happens when I, you can see it's pretty bright. When I actually spray this with water. So, as you saw earlier, it says that it is waterproof. So, what's really cool about it is, I'm like just spraying the crap out of this. I mean, I think the yard doesn't mind anyway because <laughs> it's been so hot and dry, but it's not doing anything at all. I mean, they, they said it's waterproof. I was going to drop it in a bucket of water, but I like thought that was a little drastic. So let me turn this on like high-powered jet, right? <laughs> Let's just see what this does, right? I mean, even that. So if you accidentally 
I mean, that's shaking because remember, I didn't get it in the ground deep. It spread all along the side, even. Nothing. So, it's pretty good light. Um, the one that I put out front, I actually was able to sink it to the ground quite a bit more. As you can see here, I have like a good, I don't know, six inches or maybe five inches that can go down to the ground. The other one out front, I got all the way down except for like about an inch. So it's a lot more stable. This one's going to be a lot more wobblier because this ground here gets baked so much by the sun. So this is full sun. This is not where this is going to sit. Um, but as you can tell, it's dark enough to where this beam is shining out. Now, there is a little bit of light coming from that side uh, motion sensor. But even with the motion sensor, um, without that, this is still pretty strong. I'm going to see if I can turn that motion sensor off. Hold on. Okay, so now I have them out of here. So that light is, is off. And so this is the, the light. Remember, I said you can tilt it up. This gives you an idea how far it is. Now, I would say from here to that kid's little uh, tricycle, uh, big wheel, is probably about 15 feet, okay? The trampoline is probably, I would say from here to the bike is about 20 feet. The trampoline's probably gonna be another 10 feet. So, uh, from that. So it gives you an idea. You can still, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, I can still see the trampoline. Now, if I were to change the light setting, remember you can change that. This is the yellow right so it really depends on what you want to do this is bright yellow this is on the high setting remember there's four settings there's two of the yellow and then there's off and then there's two of the white so then this is off this is the low and then this is the high I, I tell you I really like it I really really do like it I would highly recommend these lights, I did the water test. It didn't impact it whatsoever. It's easy to change the settings on this. It's fairly bright. I'm gonna see if I can change the position here to even go up a little bit more. Remember, I did earlier where it can literally uh, turn all the way up. And as you can see, the beam's a lot higher. It goes all the way back there. It's hitting the um, the trampoline. So again, 30 feet for sure. And I know because we are looking into getting some work done uh, to the house. But from here to that trampoline is about 30 feet. And uh, it shines all the way from here. Definitely, obviously, the closer up you get, the more. Um, and again, these are landscaping lights. But to give you an idea, I mean, if I walk from here to the box... To give you an idea, this is how long it takes for me to get to the pink box here. So it is really good and very bright. Very, very bright. So anyhow, uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is a pretty good, let me go back over here to the, to it so you can guys see, can see the, the box by Litham. 30 LED solar landscaping lights, two piece. Remember, we I couldn't do the humidity, or not humidity, but the frost, can't do that obviously. But heat resistant, waterproof, and frost resistant. All right, until next time, I will see you. Take care.